Hi guys. This is going to be for my Libras. And this is just going to be a love reading for 2023 at a glance, okay? And you're still going to get your weekly readings. So don't worry. Oh. I'll be having some communication. For Libra, let's see. Six of Swords, you're going to be balanced and patient. I got the Temperance card. I got the Four of Swords. You're going to be like resting. You might be thinking about communicating, you know, making a decision about communicating with someone about something, possibly about love, uh, something that uh, maybe you have been obsessing about, Libra. What's going on? This, I got the Devil card here. This is something unhealthy. Um, it could be like obsessing over someone, jealous over someone. Um, are you talking about jealousy over someone? These thoughts are in your head. Um, you're overthinking about this person, whoever this person is. We'll find out more. You're eight, the eight of cups. I got the nine of swords, all these thoughts in your heads and they're not, you know, they're dark thoughts. Um, then the eight of cups, these are so you feel broken and empty, you know? Um, and more thoughts, more thoughts, the Ten of Swords, this is keeping you up at night. But darling, you're going to start off good and something is going to take place. And after everything, you're going to find some balance, but you're going to have some conflict going on. And this is supposed to do with love, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Maybe the love is an, is, an, is an unhealthy love. You know, that's why the devil card shows up. Maybe this person makes you feel good and bad about yourself. Makes you in your head, you know, whatever communication. Or maybe they're not communicating with you the way you want them to communicate with you or something. So the six of swords, you got a difficult decision to make, okay? Coming up this um, new coming year. You're gonna um, you're gonna weigh your options. I got the two of swords, and then I got the chariot. This is movement and this is action. Okay, this is gonna be um, something coming, and it possibly could be you going on a journey if you're planning, if you've been planning it for a while. However, you're laden with some burdens here. I got the ten of wands. You have some extra responsibilities, so you, you're probably wondering what is gonna happen if I'll be able to go. But be patient, okay? Be patient. Let's see what else is going on here. I see some kind of celebration. Um, this is the Three of Cups. Um, it's some kind of happiness, community. It could be friendships. Maybe the love will start as a friendship. It's a new project. <laughs> or it could be a new opportunity for growth um, where the heart is concerned. Let's see. And the Fool, a new beginning. Yes, indeed. Something new. Mm, and it's innocent. So, let's see. But what are you thinking about? You're wondering if this is real? You're starting to get that urge again, you know, overthinking that about that person, wanting the individual. Let's see. And then here comes the Six of Cups. This is someone from the past. This is a past energy that, that um, is going to bring you the new beginning. But you're going to have... Some kind of courage to stand up to something. You're going to have some courage. I got the nine of wands here. Or it could be hmm, that you're about to stand up for yourself and draw your boundaries. Say, you know, enough is enough. This year here is a different year. Whole different year. And then the king of pentacles. Um, is somebody coming to offer you something? Hmm. This is someone you've known from the past. This is someone you've known from the past. You need to have patience. You need to find balance, okay? You need to balance your emotions. Um, 
where this devil is concerned, there's something here. I see a fire sign feminine, okay? This is about courage and confidence. You can find that within yourself. A lot of times when you see a fire energy or, or a queen, um, that is the thoughtful part of us, okay? And this is a fire energy. So she's either coming, so don't obsess over her or this energy. Um, or it could be you going within yourself and finding your courage to get out from whatever this unhealthy relationship might be. And you will be victorious with it. So you're going to be fine. I mean, you're going to find what you need to find. You're going to receive some good news, okay? So get out of your head. When you start being in your head over nonsense, you know, get out of your head. Don't think about it. Now we got the Knight of Wands. This is a passionate energy coming towards you. So get out of your head, man. You, you're in your head. You're blocking your blessings, darlings. And here you are, the Queen of Swords. Oh, my goodness. You are, uh, you are a communicator. You like direct communication. You're very clear-minded. And you're supposed to be very perceptive, okay? Pull on that part of you. You're also the money manager. You're the queen of pentacles. You're about the money also. You're very nurturing and very supportive. And you're a very hard worker. All right, so the eight of cups here. So I mean, you know, a good card's coming here. So whatever energy is coming towards you is coming. And it's coming fast, okay? Now, this is the Eight of Cups. You feel empty where love is concerned, but this thing is coming with speed and action. So and it might also mean air travel. And I think when I first started, I think I said something that you might travel. So maybe sometime this coming year, maybe you will have travel um, there. And then the Page of Wands. You're going to receive messages. And it's going to be exciting, you know, and you're going to feel free. And you're going to feel like you, it's time to move on. The Six of Swords. Yep, you're moving on. You're leaving behind and you're releasing that old baggage. And you're saying, to hell with it. I'm about to heal. And I'm going to find my love. You're moving to calmer waters. Because whatever it was that was holding you back, this devil here, you're going to let go. Okay? And... It's going to still be in your head and you're going to be off balance. I got the two of pentacles and I got the three of cups. You're going to feel heartbroken, of course. Something that you've been tied to for a while, um, whenever it's ended, um, um, you will feel heartbroken. Or it could also mean that you're going to have messages that will break your heart. Um, and it might cause some conflict. Or it could be someone else being involved in whatever it is that you're moving from. You never know. Okay, so there's a few ways you can look at this and feel. However, this is the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles talks about um, domestic um, stability, domestic love, being able to take care of your family. I got the Ace of Cups. This is um, abundance. This is love. This is new feelings coming around. And I got the Empress. Y'all are going to be grounded. You hear me? Y'all are going to be able, y'all going to be grounded. Y'all are going to be having some romantic gifts coming your way. And you're going to be having some romantic, creative ideas. Mm, and you're going to forward, follow your heart. And you might have romantic proposals. And then the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands. You are the magician. Remember. Believe in yourself. And you shall create magic. And you will have a little pause in the action. Which is good because, you know, when I first started, you were all in your head and everything. So there's going to be a little pause. It's the hangman. You might have a little bit of enlighten, enlightenment. Um, this year coming, I understand it to be, it's going to be a very um, different year coming here for those who are awakened or waking up and... And I understand that there's going to be a bunch of us, you know, on this journey. However, you're going to be moving on and finding peace within yourself. I got the Five of Cups. It could also mean some kind of loss. But I don't want you to think about it like that. I want you to forgive yourself whenever that time comes, okay? If it ever comes. You forgive yourself and move on, darling. There is no perfect human. We all make mistakes. You hear me? And I love you.
And I want you to take care of yourselves. And I want you to believe that this coming year is going to be the best year ever. No matter what obstacles. I love you.